station on space to ground. The work continues with the first human-rated expandable space module. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Gary Jordan. Expansion of the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, or BEAM, is going to take a little longer than originally planned. During about two hours of expansion on Thursday, BEAM's length and diameter did not increase as expected with the increased internal pressure, and teams decided to stand down from operations for the day. NASA and Bigelow Aerospace engineers are analyzing a number of reasons why things didn't go exactly as planned, but remember this is a test, so what we learned today will be a tremendous help for expandables in the future. For now, teams are figuring out when to resume beam expansion. In the meantime, beam and the International Space Station remain in a stable configuration and the crew members on board are safe. When expanded, BEAM is expected to reach four to four and a half times its packed size. Astronauts on board the orbiting laboratory will then be able to enter the module periodically to collect data from sensors looking at radiation, impacts, and temperature over its two-year long stay. The Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, AMS, celebrated its fifth anniversary on the International Space Station last week, surpassing 81 billion cosmic ray particles analyzed. It's searching for the origins of the universe, specifically the role that antimatter and dark matter have to play. AMS has detected antimatter particles called positrons that are active in the galaxy, introducing new hypotheses about dark matter, which is believed to make up about 24% of the total mass of the universe. Known matter is only believed to make up about 5%, with the remaining 71% being the mysterious dark energy. There's still a lot of unknowns and much to explore, and the AMS will continue to help us unlock the secrets of the universe. This week's question comes from Elsie, who wants to know if the Soyuz can be used again after bringing astronauts and cosmonauts safely back to Earth. Well, not the spacecraft in its entirety. Just before re-entry, the Soyuz separates into three pieces. The service and orbital modules burn up in the atmosphere, while the crew module brings the astronauts and cosmonauts safely to the ground. Once it lands in Kazakhstan and the crew members are taken out, search and recovery forces bring the capsule to facilities in Moscow and examine all of the systems. Then hand it over to Roscosmos, where parts are extracted from the capsule to use on other Soyuz vehicles in the manufacturing process. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.